Hello to everybody and welcome to another tutorial series for IGC and server files. So we got the, we got downloaded everything and now we need to install everything. So we need to prepare everything. So what I'm going to start with, I'm going to start with the visual redistributables and everything else that is required in order to install other programs. So I already installed this one, you just install it just like you install it. Then we need the SQL system files here for CLR all right then we need the ser shared management objects okay now we go to the net framework and yeah I guess that's what it is Meanwhile, this is uh, installing and it might take some time. We can start installing, let's say, the notepad plus plus. Okay, as you see, it's already installed it, but you, when you install it for the first time, it will be the same. It won't be the same, there will be just a success. And uh, notepad plus plus now, as you see here, create the shortcut on desktop and this is it what I'm going to do for notepad at the end or oh, let's do it now quickly better um, we have this program here that comparing the, the files in two different windows and restly there's a second update for three multiple uh, files to separate instead of just two to compare so why did not that all right. This is the compare plugin. Plugin. You just copy it. Go to right-click on the notepad. Go to the location plugins, and I guess somewhere here, converter. No, I'm not sure. Let's see. Documentation. So this is where it goes in plugins folder. All right, so just put it here then, I guess. All right, so we come back later to Notepad. Now we can just continue to install the plus plus and the net, net framework and everything. So I already installed it. Then I already installed that one as well. I guess. Alright, so I already installed this, all these files and uh, now we install the requirement of some programs that you need to run into the net framework for example, the visual plus so now we have this installed this installed, this installed, this installed and this also installed let's go to the Lua editor quickly Um, let's just put it on the desktop, why not? Don't launch it now. Alright. 